now that you know how to make a triangle, you can apply the same skills to making a starburst or a seal. Again, with the polygon tool or polygon frame tool as you prefer. Click and release. Here are the measurements. Let's say we'll keep it as an equal width and height. That gives it, that'll give us a circular basic shape. And then we want to give it a high number of sides. I'm going to try 25. And my star inset, I'm going to make a starburst first. So let's make it 50% star inset. That's the indent between the points. You'll see in just a moment. Let me click OK. Kaboom. Starburst. Let's make that yellow. We'll take away that silly outline. And we have starburst. The star inset is what accounts for this nadir the point inward. The star points are the apex. The nadir is the points in the middle, the inset. So a high inset value creates these starburst patterns. If we do it again with an even higher inset value, maybe we'll go 85%, you'll get something like that. Oh, there we go. Switch to preview mode so you can see it without the construction lines. And that's kind of interesting. What's also interesting is if you use a lower star inset value, let's say 10%. Click OK, and we get a seal, seal of approval. Then you can, of course, put text inside it in a circle, which is also covered in this course. And we can go to effects and bevel and emboss. Move that up here, preview it. Maybe we'll go even bigger, you know, and get as gaudy as possible with it. 